hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been all right i know you are a bit surprised yes we are still bringing you academic solutions as well so today we are going to show you something very interesting always interesting um on one of our previous videos we actually showed you how to calculate area using a um, cross coordinate method this is actually the the what i say the solution to that particular problem so on this video we are going to show you how to calculate area again however not using cross coordinate method but using um the departure and the latitude which is what we call a um, double latitude or double departure method to calculate area so the first thing is that um the link to that video will be in the description section and then you will watch it so if you have any problem maybe in school or anywhere and you maybe you are not clear with some things and you need them um, maybe assistance or whatever you can always reach out to us you can always see our contact details on the description section or on the description of the channel rather where you can either reach out to us via whatsapp or you send us a mail good so before we do anything we are going to just tell you that these are the same coordinates we use to calculate the area and then those are the, the same coordinates we are now going to use for this other method for the double latitude or maybe double double latitude for this particular case so we have double latitude we have double departure now uh, before you start you will have to do the back computation of those coordinates the back computation of those coordinates will give you the latitude and the departure which is actually what your delta nothing and your delta easting so that's what it means or that's the meaning the latitude and the departure so the back computation, the back computation yes of the coordinates will give you what the the latitude and the departure normally you will have to repeat your first point to get what a close loop and then another thing is that for you to check if your latitude and your departure are all correct then the algebraic sum of all your nodings or your data nothing rather and the algebraic sum of all your data is still must be equal to zero what do i mean algebraic sum simply means we have 43.709 right so we have 43 if you have a calculator please very very important as we used to emphasize minus 204.867 right then plus 0 0.660 and then plus 160.498 are we together so you can see now that we are having what we are having zero zero point zero 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 because the calculator was actually set to three decimal places so that's what shows that that system is actually closed like there is no error in your delta nothing or your delta easting or the case may be so you can check the delta easting for yourself to see if it will actually give you zero so another hint is that when you do your back computation and you repeat your first point check if it is correct by just adding everything together the algebraic sum means if it is minus you just leave it as minus if it is plus just with plus one minus two plus three just like that everything must give you zero so that's the check we just give you that trick maybe in the exam or anywhere in the test so the next thing now is that since we said we are using a double latitude method as we actually told you earlier the next thing is we are going to pick the first latitude so as the name implies double latitude it means you are going to repeat or maybe you are going to have a latitude more than once or you are going to be using the latitude more than once uh, like you repeat it you have to use it twice uh -huh. when i mean more than once it can be up to 10 but you have to use it twice that's a double hope you got the gist now so the first thing is that you pick the first latitude in this case our first latitude is what 43.709 so this is it so you do what you now multiply it by two so by the time you multiply it by two you have 87.418 are you pressing your calculator along with us please press your calculator to confirm the values they are very very important good so you have them um, 87.418 then you go to the second latitude which is what minus 204.867 so minus 204.867 you now subtract it from that product you got remember that the first one is double because of the multiplication by two so it's already double you don't need to do anything again but now the second one since we'll be having different quotients it's expedient that we use it one at a time not using the double at once you get so using it one at a time means when you get the first product by having the double of the first one which is actually the product multiplying it by two so you got the product then you go to the second latitude the same thing will be for departure but let's just concentrate on latitude so you go to the what the second latitude which is in the, in this case minus 204.867 so you say 
87.418 which is what you got initially minus 204.867 so that will also give you another difference which is what minus 117.449 are you pressing your calculator along with us good so as we said earlier double means you are going to repeat it twice or you are going to do it twice means you have minus 204.867 again so you subtract it from that first difference you got which is minus 117.499 so you have what minus 322.316 please are you pressing your calculator good so we get to the next point the next point is that you still repeat that other one the third the third latitude we are using which is a point zero six zero so you repeat it again and you have what minus three two zero point nine six six so you now see that after you do that the next latitude we have here is what 160.498 so you bring it under the word minus 320.996 so when you say minus 320.996 plus 160.498 you have minus 160.498 are we together good so if you missed it you can always go back and get it then plus since we are doubling it plus 160.498 so you have zero if you get to this point and you don't have a zero then you have an issue with either your you have an issue with your latitude so you go back to your your change in um, northern and then shake but I, I, I actually if you had actually checked it the way we told you that the algebraic sum must give you zero then you must have zero yeah are we together good so that's one the, the first step on how to carry out area computation using double latitude method good you do your back computation and then you start the subtraction or maybe the addition or whatever the case is now it takes us to the next stage the next stage is what the multiplication stage what do i mean by that these your latitudes have corresponding departures right when you did your back computation are we together this your delta nothing okay you're changing nothing as corresponding change in instance look at it for this line we have 43.709 and we have 11 111.703 the same thing here we have minus 204.867 we have 41 so that until you go to the fourth delta nothing and delta easting so what this means is that you now use each of those delta easting to multiply at intervals now the intervals here might not really be a literature maybe you not say okay multiply at interval but we have this um i say we have this a um, motto or let's say we have this a uh, mantra or we have this a um, principle in solving solutions that will give you the best and we make it easier for you so how do you go about knowing where to start the first thing is that you start you start from the first the first term um, delta northern which is this so you multiply that with the corresponding word delta easting so how do you know the second one you count you count three lines one two three then the fourth one is where you have your next multiplication are we together that's the trick we use while we are in school or that's the trick we use and we are sharing it with you it's very simple after the first line you do what you count three more lines so we have one two three the fourth line is where you have your next multiplication so let's go one two three the fourth line is where you have your next multiplication one two three the fourth line is where you have your what? your next multiplication and then since that's the end the last two the last lines must be two lines or the after your last multiplication you must have two lines left do you understand let's go over it again you multiply first with the first delta easting then you count three lines one two three your fourth line is where you do your next multiplication the same thing one two three your fourth line is where you do your next multiplication until what you get to the last one are we together good then what do we mean by this plus and minus what we mean by this plus and minus is that by the time you do your multiplication some of the values will be positive and some will be negative so all those values that are positive when you have the when you've done the multiplication the product when the product is positive you fill it under this positive m column and then when they are negative you fill it under what this negative column so it's very simple please are you pressing your calculator so that you can check if maybe you made a mistake or something because pressing the calculator will help you good so the next thing now is that since we have been able to know how to fix the corresponding delta instance so we now do what we now multiply them so you multiply this first one by this corresponding delta instance remember that this is not the corresponding delta instance yeah this stage is gone the corresponding delta instance we are talking about is that for the first one you use the first one which is um um 111.703 then you go to the next one not that you mix it up but in this case while you are multiplying you are not multiplying it as they are on the back computation please don't mix it up 
good so you multiply 43.709 by this you have this value since the both of them are positive they will still give you a positive word product so you come to the next multiplication which is minus 117.449 multiplied by 41.149 since it's negative minus times plus which means what our product here will be what will be negative so we get to the next one minus times minus is positive therefore whatever we have is what positive please are you checking the answer please you have to check the answers please press your calculator along with us good then the last one is what minus 160.498 multiplied by what 96.681 so plus minus or minus plus is what is minus are we together good so i haven't done that now in each of the multiplications i will advise you store them on your calculator now what do we mean by that so the first one let's just do the first one to show you as an instance the first one is what 43.709 multiplied by what 111.703 so you have what you have 4882.426 so you just save it on your calculator we've shown you on our previous videos you do what you press shift then you press the record and then you choose any alphabet you want to store it any letter rather in the alphabet you want to store it so let's say we store it on a which means anytime we recall a alpha a we would have that first that product will save so you can save your first product b c d are we together so this will be a this will be b this will be c this will be d so if you had actually stored it like that correspondingly then you can now add this is what this will be a c right so you can now say alpha a plus alpha c which are your positive right so you have what 8516.213 you can see that we're also pressing it so you will not say ah okay you, you are not showing me your calculator which means you're not pressing it good so you go to the next one which is the sum of what the negatives so this is a b so this is b and this is d so you come to what alpha b plus what alpha d right so you have minus 20 1350.016 are we together good so these are the sum of the positive and these are the sum of what the negative so the next thing we do is what we have two a which is two times the area two times the area is just the same thing like adding these two together when i mean adding the both of them together it simply means this plus this are we together so we have what 85 146.213 plus so plus times minus is minus definitely to be what minus 203 50.016 right so we have what 85 146.213 plus answer because that's the last answer we got you got you got the gist right good so if that was not your last answer you don't use plus answer so we now have what we now have the difference the difference we're having is what 64796.197 so to get our area we have to divide that by 2 so therefore a will now be that value divided by 2 so the area using double latitude method gave us what 32398.099 square meters are we together good so we are now going to compare it with the area we got using what using um, cross coordinate method so you can see that the area we got using cross coordinate method is what 32,398.0998 square meter and the area we got using double latitude method was what 32,398.099 square meters so we're having like 0.001 difference perhaps approximation and rest of that so it's actually fair one of the basic principles of surveying shows that or states that rather you'll have to perform check in any form of calculation or anything you do so this is actually a means of checking if that area that area you got using coordinate method cross coordinate method is actually correct so you now check it using what double latitude method so we believe we've been able to provide solutions to these particular solving problems on how to use um, how to calculate area using what double latitude method so um you can check how to use it how to calculate area using double departure method on your own however if you have issues doing that you can always contact us and maybe subsequently we would also show you how to use double departure to calculate area on the channel but until then make sure you keep being good surveyors make sure you subscribe to our channel very important make sure you support us as well very very important because those are the things that keeps us going so we'll see you again on the next video be good and have a nice time bye